Did you hear that the first trailer to the Fantastic Beasts sequel dropped this week? Much to the disgust of many Potter heads. Jeez. The Nightcrawlers director Dan Gilroy is reuniting with Jake Gyllenhaal for a Netflix horror movie. What about Margot Robbie joining the all-star cast of Leonardo DiCaprio and Brad Pitt in Quentin Tarantino's latest film? Oh my god. No? Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. We've got you covered. Welcome to The Cinephiles, a weekly show where we zoom in on the most buzzworthy news Hollywood and the indie scene has to offer. Before we begin, be sure to subscribe to Mojo Talks for The Cinephiles Extended Cut, a weekly discussion show where we break down the week's biggest stories. Link in the description below. Number 3. Margot Robbie in talks to join Quentin Tarantino's new movie. Okay, can you say star power? <laughs> Quentin Tarantino isn't satisfied with only casting heavyweights Leonardo DiCaprio and Brad Pitt for his newest film Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. I'm putting together a special team. According to Deadline Hollywood, the iconic filmmaker has officially offered Margot Robbie, the recently Oscar-nominated actress for her role in I, Tonya, the lead female role of Sharon Tate. That leads, I mean, it's what you all came for, folks. Deadline was also the first report that Tarantino had met with Robbie to discuss the film in July, but only now are the two inches away from putting pen to paper. Yeah? Yeah. The film will take place in the budding new Hollywood era of the late 60s in Los Angeles, where DiCaprio's Rick Dalton, a Western genre star, and Pitt's Cliff Booth, a stunt double, both struggle with the shift in the film business. Robbie Sharon Tate lives next door to DiCaprio's character, eventually falling victim to the Manson family cult. Number 2. Jake Gyllenhaal and Dan Gilroy reunite for Netflix horror film. Now, why you pursue something is equally as important as what you pursue. If you were a fan of the dark neo-noir film Nightcrawler, then this next bit of news may have you falling out of your seat. First reported by Variety, director Dan Gilroy, whose first feature film was Nightcrawler, will be reuniting with its stars Jake Gyllenhaal and Rene Russo for a horror thriller film to be produced by Netflix. It's great to see your eyes light up when you're working on a new idea. The synopsis of the film reads as follows. Big money artists and mega collections pay the price when art collides with commerce. Netflix has yet to officially release the film's title, but we do know that in addition to Gyllenhaal and Russo, Nightcrawler producer Jennifer Fox will be producing, so audiences can be sure to expect the same dark, moody, and tense style of filmmaking found in Gilroy's directorial debut. I mean, it's amazing. Thank you. I mean, just amazing. Rounding out the cast are Tony Collette, John Malkovich, and breakout star from Netflix's Stranger Things, Natalia Dyer. That, that is the first lie. It's not a lie. Before we get to our final entry, here are a couple new releases. It's nice to know there's another guy at school with the same secret. When did you first realize? It was a bunch of little things, like my first girlfriend. I think I'm falling in love with you. Wow, thank you. Be right back. Wasn't my proudest moment. Close the tomb once and for all. The fate of humanity is now in your hands. <gasps> Number one. New Fantastic Beasts trailer has Harry Potter fans up in arms. I have some questions for you, Professor. It didn't take long. 10 seconds to be precise, for a number of Potterheads to voice their outrage over something that apparently should have never happened in the first trailer to Fantastic Beasts, The Crimes of Grindelwald. In the trailer's very first scene, we see a group of witches and wizards apparate onto the school grounds, which, according to Potter superfans, and even J.K. Rowling, is a big no-no. Throughout the seven-book Harry Potter series, Rowling mentions that apparition is impossible within the grounds of Hogwarts, as an enchantment protects the castle walls. A number of fans took to social media to point out the apparent gaffe in continuity, but others were quick to defend the artistic decision, with one major argument being that Hogwarts was bound by different magical laws in 1927, when the sequel takes place, and when Dumbledore was not yet headmaster, but a professor. What do you have to say for yourself, Dumbledore? The film will focus on Dumbledore and Scamander, who work together to thwart the plans of Grindelwald. If you'd ever had the pleasure to teach him, you'd know Newt is not a great follower of orders. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to tune into our Mojo Talks channel for the Cinephiles Extended Cut. Link in the description below.